Okay, so uh, I'm about to demonstrate this uh, Thetford uh, cooker oven arrangement that we've got in this uh, Swift Escape uh, 2017 model. Uh, it also features in some of the latest vehicles as well. Some of the 2020 models also has a similar arrangement. So this will, uh, a brief video on, on how the operation works. So it's all gas in operation. We haven't got any mains electrics uh, involved on this. These are for the three gas rings at the top, and this is then going to be for the dual control of the oven stroke grill. Right, so you turn the, flame, uh, the gas valve to the full flame, you press the valve in, strike the igniter, electronic igniter, and away she goes. Hold it depressed for a few more seconds and release. There's high and low. And then I'll do these two at the same time, hopefully. That's the two rear gas rings. They're both on, there's low, there's low on that one. And they're both off. Very simple operation. The reason why we depress the valves for a short period of time is because they've got what we call thermocouples. Uh, so that detects a heat source and keeps the valve in an open position. Right, so if I want to use the uh, grill, I'm rotating this right hand valve to the right hand side, press the valve in, press the electronic ignition again, and the way the grill goes. Obviously you can raise this uh, shelf up a little bit closer if you want to get the grill pan closer to, uh, to cook toast. Uh, and then release, and that's all on. As you can see, looking into the uh, base of the uh, base of the oven, uh, and then we've that's in an off position. If I come back over now to the oven, you rotate the valve to the left. The maximum temperature you can get to is 240 degrees. Press the valve in, press the electronic ignition, and away she goes again. Release, and then you can regulate it accordingly to where you want the thermostat to uh, to get to temp internal temperature of the oven. And that's the very simple operation of this particular Thetford oven system. Stored in a lot of motorhomes, we do see additional work surfaces uh, which raise up. And we often get this question poised at us about the reason why, when this is raised, we've only got one of the brackets that uh, are on a spring. Uh, the other one is you've physically got to install it yourself to put it into the location. And people are saying, well, that surely should have a spring like this one's got a spring on it, um, which is Fair comment, I do appreciate what clients are saying, but unfortunately uh, it's all to do with a fire uh, law and the fact that uh, if there's an emergency and you've got to gain access out of this, you're not having to find the second latch to release that bracket. Uh, it's all to do with those sort of requirements. So please don't expect uh, that when you operate this and that one comes up, this one you physically have to engage. Uh, as I say, that is how it is meant to be. But we do get a lot of comments fed back to us. Why has that uh, second bracket not got a spring on it? But that's the reason why. So I just thought I'd demonstrate that to you. And hopefully, hopefully you found that to be useful information.